Engineer 775 here. I found another use for my charcoal lighter fluid. I think I told you on the other video with the Passat. I've got about 3,400 bottles of this stuff. And check this thing out. This is an immersion heater. Been trying to figure out some backup ways to heat water in a grid down situation. And this is a military surplus immersion heater that I'm going to set shortly here in a 55 gallon drum. And we're going to heat that water with free fuel. So what I'm doing here is just filling, putting some of this stuff <laughs> and spilling some, but it is biodegradable. <laughs> so charcoal lighter fluid called G Fuel. You can check it out. But the MSDS sheet says zero toxicity, zero reactivity. And uh, so we're going to give it a shot. So it's a lot safer than dealing with gasoline. This thing says you can use gasoline, but I'm kind of a little scared of using gasoline right now. So here's the fuel tank. I'm going to set it up on the heater. And this thing's pretty slick. So you set your fuel tank here. You got a vent cap here. What I'm going to do before we do this, we're going to set this in our tank. So the fuel tank's ready to go. I'm going to take this baby. We're going to put it in our greenhouse. Okay, we've got the, uh, the immersion heater inside. Now there's a vent cap. Let's some air out of there. I'm going to let some fuel out of the fuel tank into this wick. About a quarter full. I'm going to shut that off. Put that back in there. And I'm going to light it. It's always good to have a torch around when you're lighting things like this. Okay, we're lit there. That's good. Now there's a trick. Once this is lit, you open this fuel pickcock up, bring this wick over here, and you get a stream of flame going down. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah. Get a draft going here. You, you need to slow it down and get a little draft going. Once this thing starts pulling, feel it out. Want that little bit of hear that? Once it starts pulling a draft, then we're in good shape. And good, we're burning pretty good now. Look down here. You're not supposed to look down here if you're using gasoline, but I'm using this uh, less volatile fuel, and I wanted to see if I could uh, save some money. So, <laughs> got a, found another use for the charcoal lighter fluid. So we're burning pretty good, and with four sections of pipe. We're pulling a really good draft, so the air is actually moving away from the camera, pulling down as you can see, and it will circle around this tube in the water and then back up this pipe. And so I'm going to regulate it here. You can turn it up. You can hear it kind of take off. You got a vent here. Let some more air in, and uh, we're burning. We're going to start heating water. The water started out at uh, 63 degrees, and uh, we'll see how hot we get it. Okay. So I got the heater going inside. You can probably see the smoke coming out of the stack on um, that immersion heater. Just have it um, dripping out of the fuel tank right now, just a slow drip. And uh, it's heating the water inside. And so let's go take a look on the inside. See what's going on here. It's starting to cool off. It's supposed to be high 30s at night. Uh, so I'm, we're trying something. It is uh, October and I had a bunch of heirloom tomatoes this year. And I had, oh, there were some leftover tomatoes. And we, uh, I just rototilled them in and this is they came up. Some volunteers came up. And uh, well, you can feel that it's fairly warm in here. I got the thermometer on the other side of the gigantic greenhouse here. 
and we're at 60 degrees and so it's definitely warmer than it is outside and uh, again I'm just trying to just a drip if you can see the drips coming out of there and then the flame and then the water is I can't uh, well I can keep my finger in it but it is it's probably 130 degrees so it's uh, doing great put that back there so um, I think I put three quarters of a tank of fuel in here so I'm gonna let this thing drip we just kinda had a piece of flashing I cut to block that space and so pretty cool and I gave Southern Prepper such a hard time over this today and uh, so I'm gonna apologize here on film uh, <laughs> uh, we didn't think well there were pieces missing but it ended up being a blessing because the piece that was missing we said let's put the heater in there and so we did and we just finished it up and put that piece of flashing in and for $25 uh, folks that's not too bad so we're gonna we're this is our first experiment with a greenhouse for $25 and some volunteer tomatoes and a $50 uh, surplus army surplus uh, immersion heater you can see the the drum inside there we're gonna give it a shot because uh, we like Mater sandwiches uh, so that's what we're looking forward to anyway um, that's it so hopefully we'll be able to with that immersion heater keep it warm through the night if not what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trench another line in here and hook it to my boiler which is going for the season over there and I do have a line out to the shop and so what I'm going to do is uh, probably trench a line in here and put one of those radiators I found in here. So I know I can heat it off of wood, but I thought it would be cool to heat, to do some testing with this immersion heater, get figure out how it works, and and um, if worst case scenario, it's a great way to heat a lot of water quickly for laundry and you know, doing dishes, and so. Uh, I think it'd run off of waste motor oil, it'd run off of diesel, it'd run off of, well, it's run off of charcoal lighter fluid now. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, don't laugh too hard. It's only a $25 building. And if, all right, we got $75 into this little test here.